We will meet with Mike face to face in our office on Monday to discuss our ideas on the workout. Seek his views. If we like what we see, we will line him up for the role. I'm Stephen Main. Welcome to the Main Report. The starter's gun was fired this week in the corporate defamation battle of the decade as Macquarie Bank sues Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation. At stake is the reputation of the millionaire's factory and the reputation of Rupert's Australian newspaper. Now I've copped three defamation writs over the years, I've paid out $100,000 and we even lost our house at one point. And during that process, I learned one very important lesson. You got to know when to hold know when to fold That's something that Macquarie Bank and Rupert Murdoch's News Corp are famed for, but I reckon one of them has made a terrible mistake in pulling on this fight. So what exactly is in dispute here? Well, let's start at the top. We've got Macquarie Bank, which was a lender to a company called Allstate Explorations, which was a half owner in the Beaconsfield gold mine in Tasmania. Now, Macquarie lent 20 million and then Allstate got into financial trouble and the decision was taken to appoint an administrator. That was a guy called Michael Ryan, who was a Perth accountant. Now, after Ryan had got the job, he proposed a very controversial deal, and that was the sale of $77.5 million of intercompany loans involving Allstate, which Macquarie Bank was able to buy for just $300,000. A key point in this case is whether Macquarie Bank influenced the appointment of Michael Ryan as administrator. Now, the Australian has played one of its trump cards this week when they've produced an email from Macquarie Bank executive Ian Blair in which he says, quote, if we like what we see, we'll line him up for the role. Now, that's a reference to them meeting Michael Ryan in their Sydney offices. But this story only got better after that because Macquarie was tens of millions of dollars in front when this happened. Workmates Todd Russell and Brad Webb were found alive two weeks after the massive Anzac Day rockfall. And suddenly, with national attention on the mine, the tough Macquarie bankers got all charitable and announced they were handing over their surprise windfall to a workers' trust. Now, the big boys are back in court, fighting over the question of whether Macquarie Bank's dealings were reasonable or whether they were attempting to pull off one of the great gold heists in Australian history. Boys, should be a great fight. Just do your best. No way.